If there's one thing Texas House District 100 candidates can agree upon, it is. This district deserves the best work from the best people possible to do this work. But the approach is where the four candidates vary. Incumbent Representative Vinton Jones has a focus on public education and protecting residents from displacement. Uh, we continue to see the impacts of gentrification in and around the area, and we want to make sure that the people that have spent their lives and raised their families here can still stay, stay here to take advantage of the growing, the growing and changing area. He also wants to address public health needs in the southern sector, Not a need that drives his opponent. I, uh, I had a stroke. Sandra Crenshaw to seek the seat. And I became poor. She plays chess as a form of therapy after her stroke in 2019. Uh, public health is uh, something that we definitely need to address the uh, uninsured. Uh, we need to expand Medicaid. Crenshaw is no stranger to Dallas politics, having served on city council, just like Barbara Mallory Carraway, who's also held a state house seat in the past. She's speaking with voters at Gibson's Grocery in West Dallas. Well, I think that what uh, District 100 is most concerned about on those issues is we have education because there is an attack on our kids and they become the pawns in politics. We have the issue with the woman's reproductive rights. We have the issues on violence, particularly gun violence among our young people. She also draws attention to infrastructure and affordable housing, which the youngest candidate in the race, Justin McFarland, points out as well. There's no reason to have single family homes in an area, um, as many single family homes as we do and in areas that can't necessarily afford them. So you'd have to make more townhouses or apartment complexes and things like that. While candidates weigh in on issues impacting Texas House District 100, it's the voters who make the ultimate decision. In Dallas County, I'm Brittany Moncrease.